Hi, I'm Dr. Ellen Mayfer at the Australian Age of Dinosaurs Museum and what I'm standing next to here is the skull of a juvenile Chronosaurus. Now, Chronosaurus was a marine reptile, looked something a little like this. So they were actually belonging to a group called the Pliosaurs, which were themselves part of the Plesiosaurs. Now, unlike typical Plesiosaurs, which had long necks with small heads, Pliosaurs had big heads with short necks, so a bit different. Chronosaurus was the top predator, or at least one of the top predators, of the Aramanga Inland Sea, which covered most of outback Queensland at different points of time in the early Cretaceous period. Now, these predators were eating things like sea turtles, they were eating plenty of the fish, as well as other marine reptiles like plesiosaurs, potentially ichthyosaurs, and possibly even smaller Chronosaurus. There is some evidence to suggest that adult Chronosaurus may have eaten juveniles if it could catch them. Chronosaurus was actually named after a titan in Greek mythology, so the titan Kronos, who was the father of the Greek gods. Funnily enough, Kronos actually did eat his children to prevent them from usurping him. So in some ways, the name ended up being quite fitting. All our Chronosaurus fossils in Australia come from a species called Chronosaurus queenslandicus. Now, an adult Chronosaurus is believed to have grown up to 10 metres long, and the skull itself could be over 2 metres in length, so pretty substantial. This specimen here, obviously a bit smaller, so still has a way to go before it becomes that top predator of that inland sea.